Hey friends, welcome to Disney's Polynesian Beach Resort. Uh, we're here with a little tiki, tiki 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 guard, and we have come out because we've got a special breakfast planned here at Ohana. Because uh, Ohana means family, and family means no food gets left behind. So we've got a table service character dining breakfast at Ohana, and Ohana's located up there somewhere. Uh, we're going to go up, we're going to show you everything that you have to offer from food, characters, all things like that. We might even check in a little bit around the resort and just show you what the resort looks like. I mean, you can kind of see so far, it's quite nice in here. I'm just thankful for air conditioning because it is so humid in Florida at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're going to go up, meet some characters, eat some food and just have a lot of fun. So if you guys do enjoy the video throughout, give a thumbs up. Do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. And it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button, bell icon, be notified when we post all new videos. Aloha, friends. Let's go and eat some food. Let's have a quick look in Boutique. See what we've got. Honolulu Cookie Company. Ooh, Kona Blend, Joffrey's Coffee. Tommy Bahama dresses. Expensive dresses, I'd imagine. $188. You got a much bigger selection of um, clothing in here than we do in our shop at our resort the all-star movies obviously this is this is a much higher one so they've got like the, the tommy bahama stuff here yeah. oh you've got a uh, polynesian village oh, this is nice. shirt and lounge fly bag that is cute Ah, and a jumper as well. Aloha! I saw some people wearing that yesterday and thought it looked very cool. Special ears as well. And a towel for the Polynesian Village Resort. Polynesian Village? I said uh, Polynesian Beach Resort. In the intro, that was not correct. All these luggage tags, you've got a uh, dressing gown, so all of this stuff is themed to well, here basically. And then you also have got some kind of Olani stuff here of sorts. Duffy and Friends merch that you can get over at Olani. So you've got quite, quite a cool selection of merchandise in here. So in order to get up to Ohana we go up the stairs, or we can take a lift either way. Oh this is quite cool, Lilo and Stitch surfboard. Uh, we're going to take the stairs rather than the lift. It's only a few steps. What's this? This is a fantasy. One day maybe. So just on the top floor of the Polynesian, you've got the monorail platform there. We've got Kona Cafe and Kola Island Coffee as well. Uh, you've got Ohana's down the back there. You've got Moana Mercantile. Um, so you've got a few bits and pieces up here and it is like just really pretty. And you can see, Becky's just pointing it out. Can we see it? Kind of. the Magic Kingdom. So sometimes you get a text message, but we got a notification in the app to say our table's ready. So we're going into Ohana. Real Olani vibes. If you haven't checked out our Olani playlist, I think link up in the top corner so you guys see that. It's uh, a lot of fun. Uh, 
we get a bit there in a second. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got a uh, freshly made pineapple coconut breakfast bread. We've also got these as well, which have been signed by our friends. So your pal Mickey Mouse, Pluto, Lilo and Stitch, which is great. Uh, this is the menu. So we've got the coconut, pineapple coconut bread, which is there. They just bought that uh, whilst we came in. Uh, we've got breakfast skillet, so we've got uh, scrambled egg, pork, which is Hawaiian style ham with pineapple glaze and breakfast sausage links, uh, fried potatoes, Mickey shaped stitch, Mickey shaped and stitch shaped waffles, warm biscuits. Um, we've got some specialty beverages we can have as well, um, and we've got some non alcoholic specialties as well. So we've got Moana smoothie, stitch smoothie, and Lilo smoothie. And for some reason, we've got a table of six to ourselves. I think just because we're on the last sitting, basically. Which means you've got an insane view there. Yeah, that's cool. So you've got like all you can eat food and I guess all you can drink drinks as well. Just bought out some pineapple, orange, and guava juice, hog juice. Um, Becky's gone for tea, we've also got a bowl of fruit here as well. So, Becky's gone for a coffee, sorry. I've gone for a tea. I'm losing my mind, clearly. So I'm going to try the pineapple coconut bread for the first time. Becky's already tried it and she's making me jealous and basically saying if I don't hurry up, I won't have any. So, here we go. But it is all we can eat. It is all we can eat. Look at it, it's like tear apart bread. Oh. It's got the glaze over it like you'd get on a cinnamon as well. Put no cinnamon. Put no cinnamon, very nice. You can't taste a lot of pineapple there, so. You get chunks. Little chunks of pineapple, yeah. It's nice. I'm gonna move seats as well because I'm back there and can't see anything. I forgot to record, but we started taking this apart now and we had, um, it's all you can eat anyway, so they can bring more out. We had two of these um, biscuit things in there. We had like five sausages, we had loads of scrambled egg, two chunks of the um, pineapple glazed ham, and we've got potato wedges there. And let's just bring out some waffles as well. Oh yeah. Um, Thank you. I'm sure we'll get through some of that. Thank you very much. Okay, right, so there it is again, fully intact, because they just bought us a whole new uh, whole new skillet. And then we've got Mickey waffles, and we've got Stitch waffles as well. It's a quite good selection, actually. Lots of gammon on that one. So we've had two skillets, because they just bought them out together by mistake. Uh, not by mistake, like one of them bought them and then I think the other was like, oh I've got it already, you know, and so they kind of crossed past they were minutes apart. Um, the food is beautiful, the sausage is great, the potato wedges are like a sleeper hit there. They are like a sleeper hit. Like you don't expect them to be the best thing on there, but they are the best thing on there. Sneaky, they're very sneaky because they, they come up and they're like, Oh, we're waffles. We're wedges, sorry. We're not gonna be very nice. And then you eat them and you're like, oh my god, those wedges are so good. Um, I can take it or leave it with the scrambled egg because it's a little bit undercooked for my personal preference, but it's whatever. Um, 
we got the waffles as well, the Mickey and Stitch waffles. Um, it comes with maple syrup. Becky's not a massive fan of maple syrup, so we said to him, have you got anything else? Um, and they brought out a literal whole bowl, I kid you not, whole bowl of whipped cream. So, um, that's my dinner. <laughs> that's Becky sorted. I've got uh, a pot of maple syrup. I'm probably going to have two pots of maple syrup because uh, Becky's not going to have that. I'm just and gonna he looks over me when he says that. Like, Pass me the maple syrup. Give me your extra. I'm looking for the maple syrup and I can't see any maple syrup on the table. Just the one. Oh. Maybe there is only one. It's really good. Really good selection. We still haven't the characters yet. So we've had enough time to like eat before meeting characters. Which is good. We're not being rushed either. There's no like get out of here because we're on the last serving of breakfast. They're now going to like start changing over for lunchtime and dinner time menus. So it's pretty good. So we've got Mickey, we've got Stitch, and we've got Lilo down the back as well. We're doing the greetings. And this is a good interaction as well. They're giving you a good. You know, minute or so with each character, which is nice. So we've got Lilo as well. Stitch is back there. Mickey's back there as well. And Lilo's signing a baseball cap for somebody. Oh, that's good. for breakfast you've done it for dinner before yeah so what, what do you how do you rate that compared to dinner obviously dinner's not character dining is it no so, so yeah so you don't have those vibes but uh, the dinner was more like asian inspired quite unique food whereas that was although it was like especially nice i would say that food mm. the, the fact that it's sausages, eggs and waffles is pretty much the same with anywhere. But yeah. it wasn't it wasn't just normal sausages, eggs and waffles, was it? It was like yeah, very like nice. Pine <laughs> sausages pine and pineapple wedges. pineapple stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, you had that like Hawaiian Polynesian twist on the breakfast, but it is ultimately still an American breakfast. Um, whereas and I make think sure you come hungry because it's it's expensive, but if you can fill up for the day yeah, so that was $45 per person for, for an adult. Um, I don't know how much it was for a kid. I will check it and put it in the bottom corner here so you can see how much that was. But um, yeah, I mean, like 45 for the amount of food that we got. Like, I actually think that's quite, it's reasonably priced. If you, make, if you make use of that, then it's reasonably priced. If you're not somebody that's gonna eat a lot, then yeah. maybe like it's expensive because from like a grab and go at you know all stars we're staying at all star movies if we got a grab and go from there then it would be you know like fifteen dollars but obviously you wouldn't have characters then and that the, the whole point of that is the characters you know the character interactions were really good we had stitch obviously uh we had mickey in a hawaiian shirt and uh and he had a lay on as well i think stitch had a lay on as well yeah um, lilo was there Pluto was there uh, the one thing that happened, I don't, I, actually, I don't know what happened, how it happened, but Pluto was really delayed for yeah. us at least compared to everybody else. So a few people around us, a few of the parties around us had like left because they were just like, we're waiting so long for Pluto that, you know, that, that they just don't want to carry on. Um, and then waiting right there at the end, we had, uh, I don't know what they called it, it was like, just, little like, show, mini show. Yeah, that? like friends show basically. Uh, where they got their little shakers and their like bats and they were like beating them together. And that was that was really cool. It was a good good way to finish it off. Um, if you can do that, I think, you know, if you're gonna make use of it and make use of the food, 
I think it's worth it. Yeah. If there's only a few of you as well, then you know it's a little bit easier to swallow the cost of it. Yeah. If you're a family of four or five, then you know you're talking 250 bucks for breakfast. That's a, that's a lot oh. for breakfast. Yeah. And it's also not just breakfast, is it? It's like a full, it's an like, experience, and, and it and it goes on quite late. So we've actually really had lunch. Yeah. So we started at, well, we started at five to twelve, didn't we? Yeah. That the the last seat in I think is around twelve o'clock. So if you time it correctly and you do what we did, you know, just go a little bit hungry for breakfast, go in for lunch. You know, we're now not going to eat probably until eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And that will probably just be a couple of uh, cheeseburger spring rolls from the Magic Kingdom. That's all we're going to have, like something like that. And, your eyes on you, you know, like, then you've, you've bought your expensive meal for the day. I don't know, you know, we, we're not particularly, uh, we're not particularly well off. Um, so, you know, we're not ones that are going to be doing table service and character dining and that lot every day. I know some people do do that. And, you know, if that's your prerogative, then, you know, more power to you because I would love to. I would I would love to to some extent. I just we, one we can't afford it, and two uh, we like to spend more time in the parks yeah. as well. So um, Ohana character dining breakfast. I think it's one of the uh, the better character dining experiences I've seen compared to yeah. like in Disneyland Paris, Enchanted Garden at uh, Hong Kong was pretty rubbish compared to that in all honesty, but it was also half the price to be fair because it's in Hong Kong. So yeah, if you do get the opportunity to come out and do it, um, seriously do recommend doing it. And, and the vibes here in uh, the Polynesian Village Resort are pretty awesome as well. So um, yeah, we've had a good time. We hope you guys enjoyed following along with that. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, uh, give a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. It really does help us out a lot. And it'd be great if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when we post all new videos. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks. Thanks.